Hey everyone, Justin here, SG Comic Collector, back again finally with a comic haul video. Wait, this is not a comic haul video, this is actually two Moors 1000 subscribers contest video entry. Um, first of all, hey two, congratulations on hitting 1000 subscribers and here's hoping you'll hit another 1000 subscribers pretty soon or maybe even 5000 and above. <laughs> so. Um, firstly, I want to say that I really enjoy watching your videos and uh, your haul videos are always fantastic and you know rightly so that you should hit a thousand subscribers. Anyway, so I want to get into um, the contest. Um, so I'm just going to answer the first question which is what advice you will give your past self on collecting? Well, I'm going to answer this in two parts mainly because one I started collecting when I was a kid, maybe about um, 11 or 12. And then I stopped for a while and I only just picked up collecting like three years ago. So if I was a kid, back then the advice I would give myself is, hey, stop collecting all those 90s books. Or rather start hoarding all those 90s books now. I mean like books like Blood Strike that would really awful artwork and storyline I suddenly picking up because of the movies and all that. So hey, I would, have, I would have told my younger self to just collect those books. At the same time, maybe I'll tell my younger self, hey, um, you know, you should buy, you just save up your money and buy those, these key issues right now. Because key issues, we're talking about 10 years ago before the movies hit, slightly, sorry, more than 10 years ago before all the movies came in, you could really get them at a decent price. And with the movies, all these key issues, those Silver Age books are getting way of, out, of, out, of, um, out of the price. I mean, it's just difficult to get these books without paying an arm and a leg for it. So I would have told my younger self, hey, get all these nice issues. It might, it might cost you a penny or two, you know, but it will cost you an arm and a leg. But, you know, it will be worth it. I would tell myself three years ago, you know, that's the second part of it that I would try, you know, because when, here's the trend now, and I notice this in, in, in people who get back into collecting coin books, we just go crazy. We are overwhelmed by the variants and all these special issues and all that stuff that we just buy everything. Like when I got into it, I just went and bought like runs and complete runs and stuff like that. Um, and uh, because I was not that knowledgeable, coming back into it, I, I went to buy it. I bought some wrong stuff like, Actually, like a whole run of DC's Futures End, a really uh, not so good series that isn't worth anything much right now. And I have all these books that, you know, in the one of the foil covers and the lenticular covers that I wish I didn't buy, you know, uh, and all those comic book exclusives. I, I wish I didn't go too crazy and bought everything that came out of the J. Scott Campbell score, uh, store. I really like his artwork in his books, but I think there's just so much of it right now that. There's really nothing special about it. I would have held off a bit on buying too many exclusives and just, again, concentrated on buying key issues, Silver Age issues and all that. You know, so that's what I would tell my three years ago self. Stop buying runs. I mean, buy the runs that matter, like Uncanny X-Men or Amazing Spider-Man, but not like, you know, all the Harley Quinn number one rebirth exclusives and not all the DC Futures and not all the X-Men 600 variant covers. At the end of the day, I thought it was just a waste of money for me to buy all these books. Okay, so the second question is, what movie or movies are you looking forward to seeing this year and next year? Well, to um, I have not watched Black Panther yet, to be honest. I'm going to try and catch it real soon. I hope it's still running. But the movie that I'm really looking forward to see, which everybody has the same answer, Avengers Infinity War. And... For me, I think the reason why I'm looking forward to it is because, you know, Marvel movies have been doing great. And if you think about it pattern-wise, when the Avengers came out, that was the real, first real big movie and uh, a superhero movie that kind of like blew up the scene. And um, what happened in the movie is that Marvel had, has, had managed to successfully bring in multiple characters and after building up their, their storyline and putting them in a movie, in a team that really worked very well. Now, if you think about this, about the Infinity War, 
you have Marvel bring in different teams, basically their whole universe into one movie. And if they can pull it off, I'm going to guess that it's going to be the next Avengers 2, you know, the next big, huge Avengers movie that really makes the, the, the scene explode. And uh, so that's why I'm really looking forward to it. Just looking forward to watching the movie because I know it's going to be good. And watching to see if the movie will make a huge impact just like how the first Avengers movie did. Anyway, so that's a long, those are long answers, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, too, congratu congratulations on hitting the 1,000 subscribers contest. Um, hope to see more of our videos.